My name is Billy Turnbow with Cisco Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to clear the cache from your Jabber client. There's a variety of reasons you may want to clear the cache from your Jabber client. At the moment Jabber is first launched, it will collect data from your hardware, the OS, the network, server resources, and that's not including what it does when you're using it for its main function of contact resolution, instant messaging, and presence availability. So you may need to reset Jabber if a significant change occurs in your server or network, or if Jabber is experiencing some issues. Many times, simply clearing out the old data and allowing Jabber to start fresh will correct a variety of problems. So let's take a look at a couple of ways this can be done. The most common way to reset Jabber is by using the built-in option from the GUI. This is only available after signing out of the client. Before you can sign in, there's an option right above the Cisco logo here. It simply says, Reset Jabber. Or you can also find it from the menu under File. This is only available if you have signed out of the client. All you have to do is click on Reset Jabber to execute this option and you will get a prompt to confirm. This method is available for any Jabber platform. The second way to clear Jabber cache is one that we have been using in TAC before a GUI option was available. It can be very useful to know how to do this if Jabber is unable to launch or the GUI option is simply unavailable. This is only possible for a Jabber Windows client and the client must be completely closed. From the Windows search or run prompt, type percent app data percent and press enter. The Windows Explorer roaming folder should open up for the currently logged in Windows user. If that didn't work, you can just follow the path you see here. Once in the roaming folder, go to Cisco and then Unified Communications. Here, delete the Jabber folder. Then, click on the App Data folder in the location bar. Select the local folder next, following the same Cisco and Unified Communications path as before. Once again, select and delete the Jabber folder. This will not cause any issues with the saved contacts, but all Jabber cached items, including local IM history, will be deleted. Now, launch Jabber and you will be prompted with a new Jabber sign-in screen. This method is also great to do before reproducing a problem and collecting logs. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.